Now check this out. It says, then the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. I will make a helper who is just right for him. In the Dakes Bible, in the commentary of the Dakes Bible, it said that he will make someone who is intellectually equal and a counterpart to the man. He will make someone who is intellectually equal and a counterpart to the man, right? So the preconceived notion that the woman is the lesser sex is dispelled by the scripture. I just, that was controversial. I know I, I'm going to get some emails off of that one, right? The, 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 the controversial, the stance that the woman is the lesser sex is dispelled by this particular scripture. Because where in the animal kingdom do you see that the man and the woman are not equal? Let's be honest. In the, for some reason, the animals understand, but we don't. In the for, for instance, lions, right? Lions understand that the male lion leads the pack, the woman lion takes care of the, um, take care of the, the children and hunts for the pack, right? They're not saying that they're unequal, they just know that they have a position to play. Everybody got that, right? So it's not that the woman is a lesser sex, it's that there's another position that the woman's meant to play. I'll give you a perfect example. Who likes the Miami Heat in here? Nobody likes the Miami Heat? How dare you not like the Miami Heat? That is blasphemy. It is written somewhere in the scriptures, thou shalt love the Miami Heat. <laughs> well, the Miami Heat is my favorite team, right? And three years ago, three years ago, Dwayne Wade was by himself on the Miami Heat team. Well, yeah, he had a surrounding cast, but he didn't have a surrounding cast that can help him get to the next level, right? So what did the Miami Heat do? They went ahead and signed LeBron James and they signed Chris Bosh, right? Now, all three of them are excellent in the game of basketball. Won't you agree? All three of them in their respective positions have, have obtained excellence in that game. Won't you agree? They were all on the Eastern, on, on the Eastern, um, the Eastern All-Star team, they were all invited to be on the Olympic team. You don't do those things unless you are excellent at what you do. But the, in spite of the fact that all of them are excellent at what they do, they understand that all three of them have a position to play. If LeBron James tried to play Dwayne Wade's position, they would never have made the, made the championship. Everybody agree? If LeBron James was trying to be Dwayne Wade or trying to be Chris Bosh, they would have never made it to, to the championship. And that's the reason why a lot of our relationships fail. It's because a lot of times we don't understand what positions we're supposed to play in our relationship. Amen? Why am I looking at me like that? This new, this ain't new. It's all, it's all in here, right? It's just that we were taught wrong. We were taught wrong, amen? Now the woman has a position to play, right? Is it, they have a position to play. Do you honestly think Barack Obama will be as great as he is without Michelle? No. Do you think Bill Clinton would have been as great as he was without Hillary? It was that driving force behind the scenes that helped those men to get to the status that they were. Amen? Amen? Which is why it says here, I will make him a helper. Someone who will push him. Amen? Someone who will encourage him. Someone who will take him to the next level. Which now says, now, which now begs the question, ladies. Uh-oh, I got on the men last week, so y'all can't get mad this week, amen? Y'all can't get mad. I got good, I got good in the men. You know, a couple of guys mad at me. A couple of guys mad at me. Amen. But you got to think about this. If you're supposed to be the helper, what do you bring into the table? It's not enough because a lot of times we're taught, women, some women are taught to find the perfect man that will take care of you and marry him. 
Why are everybody looking at me like I'm telling a lie? Stop looking at me. I know people are taught that. You're taught, get the perfect guy who has a good job and that's going to take care of you. Marry him so you know you'll be set for the rest of your life. Right? But now you have to think like this because the scripture says she's supposed to be a helper. So what are you bringing to the table? If a man were to marry you today, what can you honestly say you bring to the table to help him go to the next level? Whew. It's quiet. I don't see nobody with confidence in their eyes. They, 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 everybody like. What can you honestly say you bring to the table? What can you honestly say that you can do to help a man go to the next level? Or are you just waiting for someone to be your Prince Charming? Are you just waiting for someone to sweep you off your feet and take care of you for the rest of life and you're gonna live happily ever after? Amen. I'm gonna get off of that because everybody looking like they wanna throw something at me. But we gotta think about these things. Because a lot of times, we look at our men, we, we expect our men to give so much and then we don't look at ourselves and say, what am I bringing to this relationship? If you come into the relationship with bad credit, don't get mad if the man can't get you a house. Amen, Amen wall. Jesus, Lord. If you, come into the, if you come into the relationship and you don't have a job or you don't want to work, Right? And all he can afford is a two bedroom apartment, do not be upset. The man is doing what he can with what he has. Amen. What are you bringing to the table? <laughs>